right, the black tie blues. Going to dip into the rock and roll side of blues now with a uh, in the style of ZZ Top. Now, if you don't know who ZZ Top is, they're an American pop icons. Uh, they're, they're a trio, and their music is quite simple, very blues-based. It just kind of modernized the sounds. You'll hear it in the demo track I did. It kind of um, took elements, a lot of elements from um, Sharp Dressed Man. And um, the parts are pretty simple. Um, it's all about the coolness factor in this one. This is one of the coolest bands in the land, so I thought I'd cover them in the course. Um, I did about four different revisions of this, trying to make it right. At first I did a, just a direct copy of Sharp Dressed Man. It's like, no, 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 that's not what we're looking for. I don't want to get sued, and you don't need to do that. We're not looking to be a cover band here. We're looking to teach you to be creative. So I kept twisting it around and twisting around and added some other elements so educationally you'll get the, uh, some new concepts in this lesson too. One is one of my favorite eras of the blues is in the 1950s when, when the black blues artists were trying to be a little bit more modern sounding and they would do a melody that was not 12 bar blues but then for the solos they'd use 12 bar blues. I decided to try that in this um, in this song, the Black Tie Blues. This is not what ZZ Top did, but they do similar things. They change it up during their solos as well. Um, the song is 12 bar, the, the melody is 12 bar, and then I used standard 12 bar blues in the solos, going off to a different thing. Um, I've heard uh, Billy Gibbons joke in a interview one time. He goes, yeah, man, one time we, we did one album with that fourth chord in it, but uh, our fans didn't seem to like it so much. So we went back to three chords. <laughs> They've sold millions and millions of records. It's a testament to how simple music has uh, a reach into society that we all love. This particular song does have four chords in it. Um, I don't know, and I think it was pretty popular. The Sharp Dressed Man uh, uh, video and, um, and song is a major hit for them. But in the melody, they only have three chords, I think. I think there's four, isn't there? And uh, in, the, in, the, in the solo change, we'll learn about that in the chords, um, which we're going to dip into first. I want you to know the foundation of this song. Um, before the melody. I want you to understand some things about it, so we're going to dip in the order of the lessons below um, to, to cover some of those things. Other than that, I think that's about it as far as uh, we're going to definitely go electric on this one. It's not an acoustic type song. You can play it acoustically if you want. Um, I'll see if I can call up one of my friends with their hot rod cars or do a performance video in this one. Um, I'll call in some favors. Let's see. All right, anyways, let's have fun, and uh, we'll see you down there. <laughs> 